All right, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to chat about how to create some high value ebooks and how to do it pretty rapidly. Now, there's a lot of different things that you can do with ebooks. Uh, you could sell them, you can give them away for free, give them as an add on or what we call a value bomb. And a value bomb to me is, is a very good uh, way to use an ebook. It essentially means that something you could sell, it's very sellable and people would pay money for, and you give it away for free. That can build your email list. It can uh, work as a uh, opt-in offer for Facebook ads or whatever else you're using it for. So let's just generate a quick and easy way to do this so I can show you how you might uh, get some ideas for how you would apply this to your industry. One of the things I like to do is to see if an ebook has a lot of value to it is jump over to Amazon. And at Amazon, we can look up any number of types of books and see if people are selling them. And you could look at the amount of reviews, how much volume they're moving, et cetera. So one of the things I uh, thought of was that one of the easiest things to, for ChatGPT to do is to create lists. So a list, do people pay for lists or are they really marketing blogs and so forth that have ideas on them? So I went up here and of course this probably isn't the best prompt, um, but I put for example, list books. And the first thing that popped up was actually a sponsored ad. And this book in particular says that it's 52 lists for happiness. It's a weekly journaling inspiration for positivity, for positivity balance, and joy. So this individual is has created this book. It was uploaded apparently on September 2016 and is paying with ads to put this in front of people on Amazon. It sells for $9.74 and has majority five stars, 2,810. So this is a sellable book. So if we jump over here, yep, we can take a look inside and just kind of see what this book consists of. So we can scroll through here. It's 52 lists for happiness. There's a little bit of, you know, graphic in here, an intro section, a picture, a little bit more information and it has a table of contents, and there's list, list, list. Uh, list some images that make you happy, list the things that you want out of life from five years. This is a very simple looking book here. Now look at this. List number one, list what makes you happy right now. And then there's just lines. It's a journal, and it has a little record here, a little um, uh, image, and a take action. So if you look at the outline of this book, this is pretty simple stuff here to create. So do you think you could create something like this pretty easily? Oh yeah, especially with ChatGPT and also the help of an ebook designer that I'm gonna show you here in a second. So right off the bat here, let's just go over here to ChatGPT and let's see if we can generate things. Now just to save on time, what I did is I created a new chat and what I asked it is I said, write a list of 52 things to be happy about. And without any problem, ChatGPT ripped out about 52 things that we could be happy about. So that'll cover the weeks of the year, once a week, right? So what I did also is I said, I'm writing an ebook with this list. Create an introduction for this book. And no problem at all, in this book we're gonna explore 52 things blah, blah, blah. So right off the bat, we have an introduction for this book, and we also have 52 things. So we can also flesh this out further if we wanted to, but I'm just to save time here, I'm not gonna go through all of that, but we can model that same kind of structure, don't copy people's books exactly, but model the same structure, and then add in some additional things that would build some value. And if you wanna have a little uh, prompt that will help is always go through the ratings. If you go through the ratings on the books, that's a lot of reviews to look at, but look at some of the negative reviews and so forth and see what people complain about. I wish this book had XYZ, okay, or I wish that uh, this was included. And that way you can upgrade what's out there ex existing and make it better. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that list and that information in there, and we're gonna go over to a website here called designrr.io. I'm gonna include a link to this, so don't worry. But what this software does is it creates, it basically auto-creates eBooks 
by taking your content and dropping it into the ebook with a template. It is so simple, it's ridiculous. So here's the dashboard. We can create an ebook, and you can see here, depending on the level of the software that you've got, um, you can import from a blog post or a URL. You can import from a docx, Google Doc. You can start from scratch. Some of these other ones are, for example, a PDF. It'll turn it into a flipbook, which is awesome. Some of the other upgraded options, I don't have access to this at the moment, but you can import from a YouTube video. Imagine importing a YouTube video into an ebook. That's crazy, right? That sounds awesome. So what we're going to do just from the heck of it here is we're just going to start, uh, actually, well, let's start with a template because I want to show you this. And I've had some time to play with this. It's pretty awesome. So we're going to start with a template. We have all these different types of templates here, right? So we want to have something that's a little congruent with what we were just looking at. Okay, so we can say, let's see if there's some in self-development. So in self-development, we've got, uh, look at that, finding your center, uh, maintain happiness, and then this one right here. So let's actually just go to this. So the cool thing about this software also is that it has these prompts. It works very much like a drag and drop website. You could stick page numbers in there. You can do all these things to make it really good. Okay, so author name and stuff like that, you can already you have a cover for the book. Okay, so we could scroll down, we've got a table of contents already in there. So these can literally be our 52 ideas. Okay, so we can stick those things in there. That looks like the back end of the book, we can design the middle of this, so we can put the table of contents in there. Now, if you want to design a new page, all we have to do is to stick that new page in there, right? And we can format that to look really good. Okay, where's my prompt? I can go like that, okay? So we can go two columns, we can go to a chapter heading, table contents, etc. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go regular. And what we saw in there was those lines. So we could see if we have an element that's close to that, table of contents, page breaks, We've got a table in there. It might look good as a table. So you have to play with this a little bit. I don't want to waste too much time on the video with this, but you can create columns and then get rid of some of the columns if you wanted to. So that might be doable in order to uh, create that effect that we want. Otherwise, we could just draw a bunch of lines on the paper and then we can duplicate it 52 times to have all of the weeks of the year and then we can drop in some images. So we have my images, we have suggested images, we can go in there, like for example, on the other one, we saw a record player. Let's see if they have that. And of course, yeah, we've got stuff like this that we can drop in there, right? So it'll drop that text in there for, I mean, that image in there for us to help us with our design. And we can move that around. Can we move it around? It's not very movable, is it? Let's make sure we do that. Oh, there we go. So we can move that around. So you could see how unbelievably simple this is to create an ebook. So we've got an ebook here that is sellable for $9.74, this book here, and you can create an ebook book version of this with a lot of value. So there's a lot of different types of templates in here or ideas. I think a couple of other ideas that I had seen in here was creating, for example, a travel um, type of thing. So what I did here is I had, because Valentine's Day is coming up, so Magical Valentine's Adventures, and I used the travel one. And if you scroll down through here, I had ChatGPT actually come up with 52 ideas for Valentine's Day. Okay, so there's a lot of those. Did I do 52? Might have been 22, something like that. But we can use the travel outline, adventures, travel adventures. So I'm just riffing here, but you can see that these two things would be very easy to just create content after content and drop these value bombs for people using ChatGPT in a list idea. So take a look at this, see if there's some list ideas that would work really well for you in terms of journaling inspiration or how-to guides or anything like that. And you can create eBooks rapidly using DesignRR and ChatGPT. So I hope that spawned some new ideas for you. If you like this video, make sure you give me a like and a thumbs up comment below, and uh, I'll create some additional content for you. Thank you so much for watching.